Hi guys, this is Vidas. And Usha. Let's start episode 178 of Ask Vidas and Usha podcast. Today's question was sent by Michael. He writes, Dear Usha and Vidas, first of all, let me say thank you uh, for all the valuable information you are generously sharing with us. This is so helpful and inspiring. I would like to address a problem I have with him playing in a church with rather long reverb. At the council, I hear the congregation sing with a delay of about half a second. I think this is the time the sound needs to reach the front wall to become reflected and to reach me at the console in the rear. That makes uh, it difficult to assess whether I'm too fast or too slow for them to sing. This is absolutely no problem for me in smaller rooms with less reverb. Last Sunday my wife sat in the nave and had uh, also problems to, uh, to adjust to my playing. I've been playing the organ uh, for more than 40 years and uh, although being an amateur, I would call myself an advanced player. I'm used to soloing out uh, hymn melodies in the soprano or tenor and have no problems in leading uh, the congregation. It's just uh, this church where I substitute from time to time and experience these problems. Do you have any idea what to do? Thanks a lot. Michael. Um, Osha, have you had this experience before where where, uh, the delay and reverberation is huge? And you seem to drag a little bit with your liturgical playing. Well, not so much with congregational singing, but I had that problem actually in Birji, the northern city of Lithuania, right. which has a free manual pneumatical organ. Actually... I remember playing for sort of a huge program and recital together with you, remember? Mm-hmm. And that time I didn't know what to do because the sound of the organ actually would be delayed. About what? How much? Well, it's hard to tell, but, you know, I just could not, you know, manage it at that time and it was a disaster because I thought if I will hit the keys harder the sound will come sooner but actually it was uh, uh, you know even an opposite I think the harder I tried the more delayed sound w- would become and the slower you played and the slower I played yes it seems it's the problem of uh, a lot of historically uh, build uh, uh, pneumatical organs which are not in a good condition right because the air pressure in the tubes are not strong enough or is not strong you enough. You know, but it's interesting thing because when I returned to that instrument maybe after 10 years of a break, I didn't have that problem. Did this instrument uh, have any restoration between that time? I don't think so. So you changed uh, your approach somewhat? Yes, I think I changed my approach. Simply I tried to know more various instruments. In those 10 years, so sort of probably I became just a little better. I see. But in Michael's case, yes, it might be a problem, you know, when you don't hear what congregation sings and church has reverberation. But I think there are ways how you can improve that and make life for yourself easier it's the same as in in pneumatical organs right you have to lead with your fingers and you have to not rather listen to what you're hearing but imagine you're playing ahead of them a little bit yes actually what i would do in in case like this i would try to articulate more Mm -hmm. that might help for clarity you know, in the church with reverberation. Also, I would definitely sing together with my playing. Not necessarily loud, but maybe, you know, in your mind, but just keep singing. It will give you a good idea of what tempo should be and how congregation will sing. 
and uh, I would give the accompaniment as simple as possible in the church like this. And Michael mentioned that he is already an advanced player you know, and plays over 40 years. That's excellent. But maybe you know that uh, making you know the melody in the soprano or in the tenor, you know, ornamented version or you know another elaborated version, I would keep that for sort of drier acoustic and the church is where he plays more often and congregation is more accustomed to his playing. But in this particular case, I would just keep, you know, accompaniment as simple as possible. That might make things easier. What do you think with us about it? I agree. And uh, I would just imagine that Michael has to lead, not follow. Yes, yes. Don't wait, you know, for them. Because they are waiting for you yes, and you're waiting for you. them and, and everything gets slower and slower. So what it means practically, probably it will not be a pleasant experience for you to play a little bit ahead of them. Maybe maybe half of the quarter note ahead, maybe something like that. No, but always leading them, right? It's similar uh, situation when when you have a slow response in in low pitched pedal pipes. You have to play the pedals a little bit uh, earlier, like Subas uh, 16 sometimes soft, but uh, uh, sl soft and uh, uh, slowly speaking pipes, especially in the bass register. You have to uh, lead them a little bit with your feet and. Uh, it's not it's not uh, easy to do I don't like that feeling when it seems that you know you have to play pedal a quarter note almost you no know. so what what it means you have to lead with your feet then yes that's right right so then in in Michael's case he has to lead with perhaps his fingers right and Im imagine jumping in a little bit uh, uh, ahead of the congregation yes. every time. And you know, it would be nice if he would have an opportunity to listen to what what actually, how the organ sounds from the downstairs and the congregational singing. Maybe when another organ is placed in the church, he could you know, come and listen from downstairs. Or ask his wife to record. Yes, recording would be also a good idea. And then uh, listen to that recording uh, almost right away after the service, preferably when the impression is fresh in his mind. Right? That's true, yes. But it's always so hard to be an organist because you sort of have to divide yourself. Half of you sits on the organ in place and another half is downstairs and listens what you are doing and what the final result is. And uh, if the church is big enough, the sound will travel uh, rather slowly and uh, people sitting in different s positions in of the church will hear differently too. So uh, perhaps people sitting uh, in the front of the church will find then, oh, the organ now is on time. But then people who are sitting in the back, oh, the organist is sort of... Uh, rushing always, uh, right? Maybe people in the middle will find the balance. So you also have to find the balance between rushing a little bit and dragging or playing on time. I don't know. But the social says record yourself and and, and listen to recording and then you, you will know how much you can anticipate the congregation. Yes, that's true. Thank you, guys. Um, we hope this was useful to you. These kinds of questions are really fun to discuss, and they're very practical, and a lot of people have those the same frustrations that Michael has. So we, we really hope that you apply those tips in your practice, and if they do work for you, let us know. If, if they don't, if you have some different uh, experience or perspective, also never hesitate to write us. Thanks, guys. This was Vidas. And Osha. And remember, when you practice, miracles happen. <laughs>